This is the uh, gyroscope. It's um, Victorian gyroscope, um, probably just before 1900. Um, it comes in a very nice um, box, um, which you quite often find a lot of scientific, scientific instruments um, appearing in, in uh, that sort of time. It comes, still got its own key. Um, it's a little bit um, tight now, but um, it does still work. Um, open the door. And the gyroscope fits snugly in there. Comes with a few accessories. Try to, try to explain in a moment. Um, it's got a counterweight in here which screws down, keep it. Uh, which also um, gets used in experiments, but um, it also keeps it in the actual box when traveling. You just uh, lift it up so slightly. So this is the actual gyroscope. Um, it's um, got a double gimbal, so got one axis there, the other axis there. Um, you can lock both the axis with a little thumb screw, um, that locks into place. Um, which allows you to do various experiments. So um, on the other one, you've got it on here, you tighten it up and it locks into place. Or just let go and loosen it up. Um, the gyroscope spins, still spins very freely. No wobble in there, which is what you want to uh, we want to see. Um, it's also got another lock in place, which on this one, so you can actually turn it around, and lock it into a certain place. So you can. Just lock it in like that. Um, my things got so on this one. Um, the the original string, unfortunately, uh, that's all that's left of it. Um, as you can imagine, over a hundred years, um, it's been used and used, and um, unfortunately, still hasn't got the original string. So, um, uh, yeah, you'd have to get some uh, new string. Not too much of a problem. Um, and they. Seem to uh, seems to be a common theme on 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 gyros of a certain age. That the string's gone missing or it's heavily damaged. Uh, it's got a hole for the the string on the shaft. You just put it in there, pull it. Um, you've also got adjustments, fine adjustments, um, so you can get the the balance on it right. Um, you've got the counterweight. Uh, again, normally that would have a, a bit of string on the top of it, um, and you could um, dangle it on the the one edge. So you'd have procession going around, so the gyro will spin around like that. The accessories. Um, so you have a little accessory like this. Uh, that actually pops into place. Like so, and you just screw it down. And what that does is, um, what you can do is you can take out the entire... Um, in a frame, so uh, you unscrew this and you slide it out so you've got the entire frame separate and put that down. You can then unscrew this point here um, and take off this um, this one gimbal, take it out of the way. So you've now got the, the inner frame, this frame, with that bolted onto there and you can then turn it upside down, it's got like a, a little um, cap on the one end. Um, and you can actually place it on there, so you can actually spin, precess the gyro round and round. A little bit of a dangerous thing to do. Um, uh, be very careful when you're doing something like that with, with something that's so old. Um, the there is another one as well. Um, to be honest, there's a few things that that could be for, and I haven't, can't be entirely certain um, what it should be used for. Again, it could be. I don't know if it locks into one of those, not very well. It does sit in between the two. If it sits in between the two, then it could actually sit on there um, and go around that way. I don't know. It's it, um, hard to say exactly what 
what it was supposed to be used for, but um, uh, it's probably something along those lines anyway. Um, so yes, it spins well, um, no wobble, um, just as you'd expect to, um, to have it of a um, uh, type of gyroscope of that age. Um, absolutely lovely. Um, still got the key for the box, the key still works. Now oh, there is a, another one thing, a point. Um, so I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to remember what this one was. I have worked out what it is in the past. Um, I think it's actually, it, it can actually fit into one of the, um, which one it is. Yeah, so I think it may actually go into one of those. So that can unscrew and this can go in the end. So you can balance it in a different way. I must bet there's more than one combination you can do with it. Um, so yeah, very nice. Um, Victorian, um, sort of uh, just pre-1900. I guess it could be slightly after that, but not much more. Um, could be about 1910, but I wouldn't have thought so. I think it's sort of more about 1900. Um, box is in good condition. There's a few pots, spots of paint someone's managed to put on it over the years. Yeah, 